Hey, it's Judd with Lion Digital. This video, I'm going to show you how to use Cloudflare's full page caching with Craft CMS using the Upper plugin. Full page caching with Cloudflare and Craft CMS. Here's the goal we need to serve this site over SSL. We want it to be on a global content delivery network. We want to compress our CSS, JavaScript, and optimize our images. And we also want to compress our HTML and we want all this stuff cached on the CDN. And then when we update content via the CMS, so in this case, Craft, we want the new content to show up for everyone. So we're using Cloudflare's free plan here. Cloudflare has a million different options and plans. We're just gonna go through some of the basic stuff here and focus on the caching aspect. So I've got, for this particular site we're looking at, it's a, it's a side project, it's kind of a work in progress, but I've got full strict SSL. There's SSL going into Cloudflare and there's there's SSL in between Cloudflare and your web server. I'm not going to really dive into that here. I've got Auto Minify turned on for JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. I'll show you that in a minute, one thing to watch out for there. So by default, Cloudflare caches CSS, JavaScript, and your images, but it does not cache HTML by default. So how do we do that? You have to use the feature within Cloudflare called Page Rules. You get three of these for free on the free plan. You can also pay to, to get more. And then on, on some of the other paid plans, you get a bunch of them. But um, in this case, you just use put your domain and you just use this wild card. I've got it set to cache everything. And then for craft, we want to exclude anything with an admin URL. So we want to exclude the control panel. So you'd hit bypass here. You may not need to do this because Cloudflare will actually look to see if a cookie's been set. So once you're logged in, it'll kind of dodge this. But this is a good practice. Practice just to be better safe than sorry. So this is great. This will get your this will get everything being cached. You know your full page caching. This turns that on. But then you have the problem of invalidation. You may publish new content and unless Cloudflare knows that there's been a change, it's going to keep serving the old stuff. So there is a plugin called Upper. It's actually a couple plugins, but the one I'm using here is Upper Hill for your craft site. It's written by Oliver Stark for Fort Rabbit. His his plugins. These he's got these two plugins. They're both fantastic. So the Async Queue is you know. Awesome, you should definitely be using that to offload your background jobs. And then Upper is this one that works with Cloudflare and a few other proxies. A couple other options, Matt Stein has this one, Cloudflare has some nice functionality, it basically does the exact same thing, just focuses on Cloudflare. And then Blitz is kind of the, the caching, you know, extraordinaire plugin that does every type of caching you can you can imagine and integrates with everything. It's really awesome, that's a paid plugin. So how does this thing work generally? It'll basically kind of listen to the craft events as you're publishing content, the different things that would trigger, you know, basically that are indicating that you've got new content and then it will fire off requests to the uh, Cloudflare API to say, hey, purge these URLs. That's a you know big oversimplification, but that's the general idea here. So let's take a look at how you set this up. So here is the GitHub page for Upper and the instructions. Like I said, it supports multiple different proxies. So you can use KeyCDN, Fastly, Cloudflare, which is what we're gonna use. You could put Varnish in front of your site and this will help with that. There's a dummy that probably for testing and there's also a way this has a nice API that you could add additional services without too much trouble really what this does is it allows you to make external calls and also lets you set the proper uh, headers so configuration wise it will create a file called upper.php and then what you need to do is use your environment variables to set these various settings the zone ID that's your domain so you can find that on the overview screen down here at zone ID. You can copy that into your environment variables. And then you're going to need to create an API token. So you will do that in your profile. And then under API tokens, you can create a custom token. You name it something descriptive. This is for an F, so a website called F9 Golf. So it's Craft CMS, Upper Plugin. This is just how I described it here. It's going to be zone level permissions for cache purge. And then you're going to include a specific zone, pick your domain. You can set how long this token is good for. I didn't set anything, so it'll just be good for ever, I suppose. And then the other setting I'm showing is there's some performance settings in here. Obviously, I had SSL toggled on, and then I've got the minification turned on. You can do other things like broadly, and when you have a paid option, you can do some additional things. So on the content side of things, let me log back in here real quick. I've just got a body field, just a general page. This is a single. Um, and I've just got some bogus, I've got some Sega Ipsum pasted in here, and then some Phil Murray bogus photos. And then we've got this page here, forward slash Cloudflare. And if you look within network tab, the refresh, I've got a fresh cache coming out of Cloudflare. You'll see that this is bypass, which 
dynamic means it's dynamic content so it's not going to be cached bypass means it's going around it so why would that be happening the reason that happens is because I'm logged in to craft CMS right now and there's a cookie shows that I'm logged in and Cloudflare checks for that cookie so you can fake yourself out really bad here this has happened to me multiple times where you, if you fake yourself out and you think oh this isn't working what the hell's going on and you're logged into craft so you're gonna want to hit a you know private browser and, and you can see what the actual thing is but really this this whole process you're gonna be checking your headers quite a bit so Good place to do this is in the network tab in your browser. Another good way to do this, I find myself using curl a lot for this. So anyhow, let's take a look at this incognito browser and let's take a look at the headers, see what they tell us. So I'm looking, this is the actual HTML page for slash. So this was a miss from the cache and you see the CF Ray, they've got a little, it's almost like their airport code type thing that'll show you where on Cloudflare CDN are they serving this from. I'm in Atlanta, so it's it's giving me probably from an Atlanta kind of edge location. If I refresh, this should probably go to hit. If I did it right, yep. So it goes to hit. Can you see content here? Now let me go update the content. Let's I don't know, let's make this part italicized and let's bold some stuff, whatever, save it. Command R and you see, boom, status is back to miss. So that's, this just busted the cache. And you can tell when you're in the editor within craft, you may see a little bit, depending on how quickly it happens. You'll see the upper uh, plugin down here. You'll see it quickly running that invalidation where it makes those calls to Cloudflare. I think there's a limit of 30 URLs to purge. When I was reading the code, I think it's set to 30 at a time type of thing. I don't know why you would do way more than that unless you're maybe doing everything in mass. But you may want to log into Cloudflare and purge everything manually in that case, but let's take a look again real quick. Another thing you can you can check is I'm including uh, the Bulma CSS library. You can see it's all squished, it's compressed. You look at the HTML. This is the white space has been removed. Now I did not use a minified version of Bulma. You can see that here as I'm logged into Craft. It's gonna. This is the smushed version so we're getting we're invalidating the cache and this is this is working fine another way to test test this is I'm going to turn on a VPN from Hong Kong we'll let this connect and then let's take a look and see what happens to our headers give me a second for my VPN to connect we'll go to network so I'm connected this request should be coming from Hong Kong as far as Cloudflare can tell so if you look you see it missed so it just doing a fresh request and then if you look again this nrt i believe that is the code for japan so they're serving this from an edge cache in japan so someone making a request from hong kong gets routed to the nearest edge location and it's working how we would expect another quick thing as i mentioned you can use curl to do this so i'm just doing curl and this i flag just gives you the http headers back so you can check and see what's getting back You'll notice like when I do this from you know routing this traffic through Hong Kong, there's a little bit of latency. I mean this is the whole point of using a CDN is to speed things up. But if you pay attention to the to the headers here, there we go, NRT. So you can manually flush your cache, you can purge it. it. Takes about 30 seconds. You can do custom purge where you purge a particular thing. You also get a twig code with the upper plugin that you can set pages to not be cached by just by including that. So let's just purge everything. It takes about 30 seconds. We'll do a fresh request. We may see this from the, not from the origin server, not from my web server, but Cloudflare has multiple tiers. So we may see this from their main server that they serve this from, and then they have something even closer. So no, still doing Japan. Sometimes you see this come from Hong Kong, but anyway, this is how you set up full page caching in Cloudflare using the upper plugin within craft. Hope you found this helpful. So there you have it. Full page caching with Cloudflare. It's invalidated via the upper plugin when you make content updates in Craft CMS. You get to minify your CSS, JavaScript, compress your images, and it all gets serviced from Cloudflare's global content delivery network.